so now we are here with the new Emolent MS-03 and uh, this time we are testing the lumen output or the regulation uh, with 3000 lumens so according to the manual we got 1 hour and 15 minutes that should be uh, able to be used constantly during that period of time with 3000 lumens now uh, we are switching it on and by the way this is a speech over the video was first created in German so now we go up the second third and the fourth mode 3000 lumens the timer is running we got six seconds now with 3000 lumens we're going to increase the brightness level a bit here on the phone so you can see it better. And uh, now the light is running. And uh, we're just going to let it be for a while now until it uh, reaches 5 minutes. And then after 5 minutes there will be a test. That means we will go up to 8000 lumens and up to the max with 13,000 lumens and then later on from 10 minutes we will uh, again go up to 8 and 13,000 lumens between it will be running on 3,000 lumens so uh, I can already tell you what the test shows uh, everything seems to be fine. 3000 lumens seems to be uh, yeah, fine for constant use. Uh, the light really gets warm. You can feel it after a while. And uh, of course when you just quickly switch uh, on the turbo or even uh, the 8000 lumen mode then it really gets warm very quickly and uh, then it's difficult to to cool it back down but it seems that 3000 lumens is fine over a long period of time so uh, in my test here it didn't get too warm so I was very surprised by that of course I didn't really uh, test that lumen level I just believe it's about 3000 lumens that's what the manual says of this uh, mode I believe it's called middle 2 uh, the fourth level so uh, anyways it seems that this mode is fine you can use it constantly over uh, yeah I didn't test it for 1 hour and 15 minutes but during those 10-15 minutes that I was uh, testing it it didn't get too warm I would say it get it really was heating up it was very warm or even hot really it wasn't so comfortable anymore to hold it in the hand but uh, anyways it seems that the output level the 3000 lumens uh, was still active it didn't shift down there hasn't been any change or at least I couldn't see any difference in the light output level so uh, every change that I made it was a uh, by my conscious decision by pressing the button but there I haven't uh, seen any regulation I haven't seen any step down with 3000 lumens so uh, now we are here on 3 minutes and 20 seconds now on 3000 lumens so uh, the timer is running still on 5 minutes we will uh, Go up to 8000 lumens and then directly to 13000 lumens. Uh, it wasn't really so warm at that time, or I would say it was warm, but uh, still possible to hold it. Didn't really get too hot. But of course, when I switched it to the max or also to 8000 lumens, then really. It felt really hot and it wasn't so comfortable anymore to hold it or even to switch through the different modes. So of course 
uh, I would say 3000 lumens that's the max uh, if you would go higher then of course you uh, just got to keep in mind it gets warm extremely quickly with the turbo and of course uh, for constant use 3000 lumens for most tasks it's fine it's a lot of light you can uh, even use a, a lower mode there is a I believe it's 1300 lumens that is the third mode the middle one and that is already quite a lot of light but even the lowest with 150 that will uh, already show you uh, enough to just uh, go hiking or walking somewhere but of course if you want to take a look at your environment if you want to get a a few higher uh, beam distances then of course the higher modes are better for you now we switched on or we switched it up as you can see in the video to uh, the higher modes 8000 and 13000 lumens and again now it is in the low mode the lowest one with 150 and uh, we are now switching it back to 3000 lumens so the test can go on with that level the one we previously had now again 3000 lumens which will be used now for quite a while the middle two mode 3000 lumens 1 hour 15 minutes according to the manual so uh, if you would use the light with uh, 8000 lumens or 13000 lumens the high or the turbo then as you can see it will shift down directly to 2000 lumens so uh, that's something you gotta keep in mind and uh, it will be quite warm then after only a short period of time with turbo or high and I haven't yet tested if it's possible then to go back to 3000 lumens or yeah if that is possible I believe it probably will take a while to cool down and then you will uh, be able to go to the middle too that's what I believe here and uh, one other thing that you got to keep in mind uh, the battery with 4000 milliamps um, you got to use that one the one with 5000 milliamps that will not be able to run the turbo uh, I haven't yet tested by myself, but that's what uh, the manufacturer told me that there is no possibility to run the turbo with 13,000 lumens with the regular 21700 with 5000 milliamps from Imolent. So you gotta use the battery which is included in the package because that one is strong enough to run the light. On the highest levels, 13,000 lumens, 8,000 lumens. I believe 8,000 could still be possible with the regular 21700, but of course, I haven't tested that yet. And uh, so, anyways, if you use the light in, uh, in those high modes, then that takes a lot of battery power, so uh, it really drains the battery quite quickly and. Uh, so for a constant use it's usually better to not use those high modes unless you really just go out for a little while uh, but uh, you gotta keep in mind what those uh, different run times are probably you take the manual with you or uh, you can also uh, download it online i uh, i've uploaded it onto my website on the online store imolent.ch there you can download the manual in uh, English, German, Chinese, I guess probably even a few more languages so these are a few things that you gotta keep in mind here with that light with the Imolent MS-03 and uh, now we are on over nine minutes and eight seconds here it 
was running on 3000 lumens most of the time. Now uh, when we reach 10 minutes we will again go up to 8000 lumens and also 13000 lumens to test uh, if those lumen output levels still operate as usual and uh, we are now 20 seconds away from 10 minutes and then we are going to switch it up 12 seconds left and we got 7 seconds left and then we reach 10 minutes so soon we are going to switch it up so now it's going to be time so uh, we will shift from 3000 lumens up to 8000 lumens right now and double click to the turbo 13000 lumens everything seems to be fine still now we are back in the low mode 150 150 lumens and we are going to switch it back to 3000 lumens again soon and uh, it will be running then for a few more minutes and again here the fourth level 3000 lumens I believe at that time it was quite warm or hot especially on the head of the light and uh, we are now gonna let it run for a few minutes now it's back in the low mode all the levels seem to be fine it shifts through the different outputs I uh, didn't I didn't see any uh, step down sometimes for some lights there is a smooth uh, step down smooth shift but here I couldn't see any uh, any step down so it seems that 3000 lumens really is fine now the camera should adjust soon and uh, now you can see it 150 800 1300 lumens and 3000 the fourth level the test is soon over everything worked fine I was very surprised by the light that it uh, didn't get too warm now uh, a few more information about this flashlight about the ML and MSC or free everything is in the package that you need the battery the light a USB charging cable and you can charge up the battery it has an integrated USB-C charging port directly on the battery itself there is also the belt holster and the uh, spare o-rings the manual everything is in the package that you need and there is also a strobe mode that you can activate there is a lockout function so uh, yeah and it is capable of a tail stand as you can see here in the video to me that is a uh, quite a great feature sometimes that's really great to have and uh, if you want to light up a room indirectly now we are here on uh, over 13 minutes 16 seconds if you want to know more about this light or if you got any questions you can leave a comment you can take a look at the website at the moment uh, it isn't really translated into English but uh, that's gonna be done soon but uh, in the meantime, you can still leave a comment, you can send a message, an email, or give me a call. Now I am looking forward to your comment, your message, or also directly to your order. If you liked the video, you can press the thumbs up. If you like to uh, get more news about new Imaland products, then uh, you can subscribe to the channel, Imaland Switzerland, here on YouTube. 
Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video.